Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with another video. I uh, yeah, I, I got a bit inspired by a video I saw on Proper English's channel. Put a link in the description and annotations to him. You should definitely check him out. Uh, he's part of the RDF, does highly advanced redstone. But basically, what he did is he uh, he made he used sort of a yeah, what you'd normally do with uh, a latch like in, uh, in the old redstone without the comparators um, he basically used comparators to uh, create sort of a memory cell on which you could add and remove uh, signal strength so basically it would store the strength of the signal and you could add and remove and that would basically allow for a very simple uh, counter mechanism but uh, I was wondering like if you use that same similar system you could make a 16-bit uh, memory cell, which is what this is. So now, um, let's say I wanted to store uh, the 11th state. I have this, what you see here, that's all it is. Um, I would reset the memory cell, it goes back to zero, and then I can read whatsoever, whatever I hooked up. So now, as you see here, I've stored 11. And if we go back, uh, let's say I wanted to do uh, one, all you have to do is you have to send a signal to reset it and then a signal to read it. And let's see what else can we do. Uh, let's do six. So you reset and then you read. And, and it basically what it's doing is just this loop here. Let me just show you, if I extend this, you can also see it there, but uh, at the moment, the signal is six. So it travels six blocks. That's stored in this little loop of, uh, yeah, of comparators. And how you would remove it, uh, basically I set the comparator, this comparator to subtract. So whenever I press this button, it's gonna subtract up to 15 on the loop. So if I subtract 15, obviously I'm going to end up with nothing. So that fixes all that. And then here, say I add 14. Um, I also, at the moment, I'm subtracting 15 of a signal strength of 14. So nothing's getting transferred. Now, the moment I press the button, uh, what's going to do, it's for a short moment going to send a signal of signal strength 14 into this comparator, but at the same time, it's gonna send it into the other comparator and one tick later, so this is basically a one tick monostable circuit, like this part here, uh, it will uh, reduce it by 15. So like for a very short moment, it's gonna send 14 and then after that it's gonna send zero. And like if you wanted to adjust this monostable circuit, this would be a two tick pulse three tick pulse, four tick pulse, one tick pulse. Now, why is this monostable interesting? Well, it actually keeps the signal strength. Um, so it's a monostable circuit that creates a one tick pulse with the original signal strength. Um, so let's uh, read. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the back using this pistonless, um, pistonless red coder. So what you see, that's all, all there is. So uh, block, block, redstone, redstone, repeater, repeater, torch, tower, and then block. And I mean, you can also have it on the side, wherever you want. And the reason I'm not using the piston version is because, um, I, I don't know, I'm still in the current snapshot, I think pistons are not always as reliable as they should be. But uh, yeah, work in progress, let's call it that. So yeah, very interesting. Um, I mean, this is up to, this is sort of hexadecimal. So it's a hexadecimal memory cell, but you can, you know, adjust this for decimal as well. I mean, instead of having 15 levers or 16 levers, uh, you just have 10. There you go, decimal. If you want to use uh, an octagonal signal memory cell, well, you just have eight. Um, so that sort of gives the idea. Now for tutorial, like the memory cell itself, is the, the lapis part with the orange and uh, purple block as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really interesting. Definitely gonna do some more experimenting with that. So yeah, 
I hope you guys come up with some cool stuff as well using this. Uh, feel free to use it however you want. And like always, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, and uh, be sure to leave a like if you like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.